welcome to Draw From The Hip. Today's episode is going to be a little different. Mostly I focus on talking about art supplies, but last week was Canadian Mental Health Week and that made me realize that there's something else I want to talk about in addition to art supplies that I think affects many of us and that is mental health. I know that I'm not alone when I say that mental health is something I work on daily. I have had my own troubles with mental health since I was 17. I've had several major depressions where I have basically had to pause my life and build it back up. But through all of this, I have realized that you can actually build a skill set, kind of your own toolbox, abilities that you can practice in your daily life to help you be more robust in your mental health. And when I'm talking mental health robustness, I'm talking the ability to kind of roll with the punches a bit when you feel like life is beating you up, just to have a little bit more internal resources to draw on. So how does this tie into art? Because of course it ties into art. You're at Draw From The Hip. We're all about art here. This connects back into art because I believe that there are skills you learn in art that help you with this state of mental robustness. So if you could bring some consciousness and awareness towards the cultivation of this skill, then you can also bring this skill into your life and hopefully have a lot of wonderful side benefits. Art gives us these skills in a lot of different ways. So I'm only going to focus on one today. That one is play. The sense of play is something we lose a lot as we grow older. And I believe that a lot of people come to art kind of hoping and wishing to seek it. Play requires us to let go of our expectations, to be curious in the moment, to to notice and to just engage in an immediate unplanned way. In order to get to this place where it can just be about the pleasure of the experience, you need to let go of judgment, which is very hard. So before you start this exercise I'm about to give you, remember, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's about how you feel while you're doing it. Play also is low risk. It doesn't matter if something goes wrong in your painting if you're playing. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look the way you wanted it to because play isn't about the end result. It's about the journey and experiences you have on the way. I have an exercise that I think practicing regularly can bring a lot of this consciousness to the sense of play in art and thus allow you to transfer that skill into your daily life. I've chosen watercolors for this exercise because they're very loose and fluid. It's a good medium to help you let go of control because it is hard to control. If you prefer another medium, this is totally fine. The concept is much more about making marks, making color, making shapes without judging them as good or bad. In this exercise, I use watercolors as my medium because I find them very unpredictable. They're hard to control as it is. And a key part of this exercise is letting go of control and expectation. Adapt this exercise to what you have. It's much more about being in the moment creating than it is about materials in any way. Before I even started setting up, the first thing I did, I took a spray bottle and I misted my paints so that they would be ready and the paint would lift up easily when I was ready to start painting. I then taped down a piece of inexpensive watercolor paper. Because this is play, you can't have worries. So if you're going to worry about ruining a nice piece of paper, use something really affordable. For this exercise, I start with putting another misting layer on my watercolors and a clean brush and clean water. I'm just going to put some, some blobs of water down randomly. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how thick they are. Just get them in there. And now I'm going to start touching my brush to colors and touching them to these blobs of water.
that's it. This exercise can be as long or as short as you want. It is much more about your engagement than it is about any definition of how it should be done. I hope you found this exercise really helpful in cultivating a sense of playfulness and curiosity and that you were able to let go of your judgment to any degree and to engage with your materials from a place of discovery. Mental health is something I care a lot about and I hope to be making more videos about it in the future. So if this is something that affects you as well, I love to hear from you in the comments or through social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and remember to take the sense of play out of your studio. It can be applied to tons of areas in your daily life. See you in the next one.